or more properties are stuck on the market. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome into the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm gonna to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It's very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, thank you so much for checking in today. I hope you are all doing well. So yeah, this is the latest trend that I'm seeing in the US housing market is properties are stuck on the market. And folks, I've reported since you know the beginning that we were, we were gonna see a cool down. We cannot overheat the real estate market and expect it to sustain itself. And there is so many question marks right now with the US housing market. And the one thing I think most of you understand is everything hinges on the US housing market. If the, if the housing market fails, everything fails. And, and, it's, and that's pretty much what we're, we're at risk of right now is everything is about to fail. And I hate to say that, but I've, I've, I've sounded this alarm from the beginning is you, you have to really wait to see what happens with the blowback from the stimulus money. We've injected so much stimulus money into our economy that it became euphoric and just white hot and it can't sustain itself. We, we're, we're, it's all clear now, it's in black and white now. And most people now are believing it. Most of my viewers, I started saying this long before inflation settled in, and now we're dealing with inflation and we're just seeing so much stuff going on. And I knew this would be the case. And that's why I tried to really just politely kind of, you know, <laughs> be a realist and sound this alarm for people and do it in a way that wasn't too doom and gloomy, right? I don't want to spread fear. I just want to wake people up that this is an unsustainable economy and market we're in because of the stimulus, the stimulus programs and the stimulus money. And now inflation has, has taken over and it's not gonna stop. This is a very, <laughs> it's a big issue. This is a recipe for disaster on many, many ways. The stock market, is gonna feel it first, and then the housing market will feel it next. And what we've done with the stimulus money is we've created so many retail investors, people now investing all their stimulus money into the stock market. It's became an addiction for them. They're addicted to investing into stock market, and it's basically gambling. Most people are stock picking blindly. They don't even know what they're doing. And if they're ultimately they're just buying in at the top of the market and that's that's really what we're seeing now people are buying stocks in an inflated stock market at the height of the stock market and people are buying real estate right now at the top of the market in an inflated real estate market and so now what's happened is we're seeing, it's it i coming up for air we're seeing basically properties now get stuck on the market. And I started reporting on this not too long ago. We need to get through winter. And we're now entering into winter in Christmas time. I said Christmas time would also potentially be a very challenging time when it comes to real estate. And so now it's just the writing is purely on the wall. I just was looking at a property today for a client inquiring about a property on the market for like 400 days, a year, a year it's been stuck on the market. That shouldn't happen in a euphoric housing market, but it's happening. I'm continuing to see realtors continue to send out email blasts announcing that their property is still on the market. Hey, everybody, come check out this property. And they're going through price reductions and they're announcing they're still on the market. And I've told you before, and if you're selling your property, you better price right. If you get an agent promising you some over asking price offers, fire them, fire them right now. The best you can hope for right now is an actual market analysis determining the the value of that property and coming on the market at that range and expecting it to to offers to come in at market value the days of over asking price offers are over if they happen at all they're going to be few and far 
between when we see properties stuck on the market, that is a red flag, that is a market shift. Now I know, again, for me, and most of my viewers, you understand that the housing market is in very, very uh, shaky ground. We're in uncharted territory. The dust needs to settle from the pandemic and the stimulus, and we will pay the piper for this. And again, that's why I continue to just really remind people, don't be afraid to wait. That was my mantra when I first came to YouTube, because that was exactly what I was telling customers when they would ask me point blank what I thought about the housing market. I, I would say, it won't hurt you to wait. And right now, if you've waited this long, my opinion is go ahead and wait a little longer because all you're gonna, now what you're gonna be dealing with are properties stuck on the market come, that, are, that are, you're gonna be able to go, you know, get if that's what you want. If you wanna come back into the market, you're gonna be able to deal with properties stuck on the market. My personal opinion, again, we need to get through winter. We need to get into the beginning of next year. I've said it before, I'll say it again. When the, when the uh, stimulus programs in the form of mortgage forbearance, eviction bans, foreclosure bans, and unemployment benefits all ended like a month ago, that was ground zero. It'll take a year for those to play out. I believe within a year, like I've said, we're gonna have a much different conversation that we're having today. I believe we'll be, like we're already talking about, I'm seeing days on market and price reductions, a clear market shift. But people are still so euphoric, they refuse to see the writing on the wall. In a year from today, I believe we'll be having more conversations like, it is tons of properties come into market. There are tons of price reductions coming. And because of the contagion, the euphoria, the failure of big companies like Evergrande in China, because we're a global economy, because all markets overheated, because governments around the world have done the same thing to their countries. We are, a, this is really dangerous, dangerous times. In my opinion, everything necessary to produce not only a US crash, a global collapse is there. And again, I do not want that folks. Listen, I own real estate, I'm, insula I'm, I'm recession insulated, but I'm certainly not recession proof. But I believe right now is the time to play it safe. Again, in final, th th uh, in final thoughts, folks, we are seeing properties stuck on the market, not going off the market. And that is a market shift. We have fiscal cliffs have now ended and we're already seeing this. There's talks of, you know, the pandemic and the virus continue to trend, you know, Big government and mainstream media are doing their best to manipulate the masses however they want to manipulate them. This digital diet that everybody's on is dangerous. So I want to continue to just strongly urge you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Uh, give the video a like. Um, right now is a really critical key moment in US history, big, big stuff. And so the only way we can prosper from it is if we come out of it intact. If we're throwing stuff overboard, trying to get light in a recession, you already lost. The only way you're gonna win is to brace for it now, insulate yourself with as much cash as humanly possible and be ready to buy the dip because that's what all the heavy hitters are doing. So I appreciate it. Go make it count today, and we'll see you on the next video.